When the Blum Delivery Casting became available at the Redline Club website, an idea crossed my mind, and I was lucky enough to order one before they sold out. Now first, the best way for me to describe this casting is to use the words directly from Mattel's Redline Club website. They say, when we showed Phil Reilman's concept hot rod truck in an interview here on the site, it didn't even have a name. The image was so explosive that Hot Wheels fans were blown away. Not long after, the blown delivery was produced. After several editions, it took a hiatus in 2017. Now you can feel its vibrant return commemorating the 22nd annual Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals. For almost 20 years, Hot Wheels has produced a Red Line Club exclusive edition in pink of one of our most popular castings to honor our most dedicated fans. These are released two times a year, once at the Collector's Nationals in the spring and once at the convention in the fall. The addition of the blown delivery has clean, pure pink deco with white fenders, and it features real riders' five-spoke wheels with red striped tampo. Now, as you can see, this is a beautiful casting. And the Spectra Flame paint, you know, I... I'm always amazed by <laughs> Spectra Flame Paint. It looks fantastic. So there was absolutely no way in hell I was going to strip this one. Although I'll admit to you, after coming up with the idea I use on this one, something hell else has come to mind. And I would like to find one of these cheap somewhere <laughs> of, <laughs> to do something that I'm sure a lot of people let me put it this way. I'm not going to I'm not going to get a lot of favor by stripping Spectra Flame paint off of something to do what I'm going to do to it. This one, I kept the speak pink Spectra Flame, and I knew Second Chance Red Lines had a bunch of candy striper decals. That's the thought that crossed my mind for this casting. Now, Second Chance has them in a variety of sizes. I ordered the ones for the VW uh, drag bus, figuring they would be the closest and the largest I could get. And then I ordered a set for the bone shaker just in case I needed some small decals too. And that worked out pretty well. I don't show all of the decals going on, but there you see what I've done. I did use one of the small bone shaker decals right above the cab there. That's basically all I did. I darkened in the exhaust pipes there, you see, as you see. Um, painted up uh, a little of the interior. You'll see a little bit more of that in a second. But after throwing the decals on, and, and second chances decals go on fantastically. They work great. Um, I hit it with clear Minwax, uh, gloss clear poly, and I let it dry. <laughs> So yeah, this is kind of like a lazy man's custom. Um, it, I'm really happy with the results. It's what I envisioned. Um, there you can see I did put uh, hot pink seats in it. And there's a little chrome on the interior. Not that it really matters because you have to struggle to see it. But with this as a base to work from, you couldn't ask for more. There was a little flaw on the right uh, passenger side front fender uh, from the factory, but not even a big deal. Um, metal, metal body, metal base, plastic interior, and a small portion of that engine block and intake are plastic. But otherwise, this thing's built like a brick. This thing is solid. Um, so that was what I wanted to do. I, the candy striper gasser came to mind. This was already Spectra Flame Pink. And uh, so there's where we started. An absolutely beautiful casting. And when you start with something like that, man, it's tough to go wrong. <laughs> so I hope you uh, like what I did to it. Yeah, I cracked it open. To do this, but uh, this was fun. This was fast. Even the decals when I ordered them, uh, they got here ridiculously quickly. So uh, yeah, fast and dirty build, fast and shiny build. I hope you like this as much as I do. 
everybody, there's some glamour shots coming up. And uh, stay safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching these videos. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.